the, uh, the safety story in general aviation has become really a good story in the last few years, and that, that again, speaks to the professionalism and the dedication that so many of you have exhibited uh, in this field. The, uh, the numbers of fatal accidents are down substantially, and in case anybody that, uh, thinks that's because fewer people are flying, that's not the case. The fatal accident is decreasing as steadily, uh, and the, when we look at the ratios, that is not simply because we're flying less. The rates themselves uh, are coming down, and again, that's a, that's a tribute. Nine months into the fiscal year, the GA fatal accident rate per 100,000 hours is running about 12% lower. That's a remarkable drop compared to just two years ago. Uh, this is a substantial change in a rate that's been improving, but not nearly at this pace over the last few years. The improvement is also visible in other trends. For example, uh, over the past three years, fatal accidents in general aviation from controlled flight into terrain are down by more than half. Again, a tribute to awareness, uh, instruction, professional flight instructors uh, taking that cause to their students. That's how we bring these changes about. Uh, fatal accidents in control in flight and approach and landing are down more than 20 percent. Fatal accidents in weather have decreased nearly 40 percent in the last three years. These are remarkable numbers. And while fatal accidents at night are down about 25 percent. And much of the improvement reflects major changes in the general aviation fleets. Over the past six years, uh, something in the order of eight to 10,000 new glass cockpit aircraft have entered the fleet. And while uh, a comparable number of existing airplanes are also being retrofitted, that means we have a whole lot more of technology available to us, guidance, and the ability for us to maintain better spatial awareness and situational awareness. All of this with a lot of advanced technology. We add to this uh, mix several thousand new business jets that have entered the system in the past decade or so, and virtually all of those come with glass. So the industry is embracing technology, and the good news is the pilots are learning to use the technology. But this is also a cause for vigilance. Uh, flight hours and, and personal aviation are down. That's due to a couple of things I think we could point at. Fuel prices uh, certainly had their spike. Uh, economic downturn could be a, a contributing factor. But I'm going to say something that you probably intrinsically already know. You can't stay sharp if you're not up there flying regularly. What we've got to do if we're not getting the hours, we've got to find substitutes to maintain that sharpness, uh, occasional extra instruction to maintain that. Uh, because that, that, that is a key factor in, in uh, maintaining your currency and, and proficiency. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.